Please take your seats. Thank you, Lord. It's real. This thing is real. Because I look back some 30 years ago. And way back, looking at what God has done. It's very real. This thing called impartation is real. So you can catch something. You can catch something. Give me 2 Kings chapter 6. And verse 15. 2 Kings 6.15 And when the servants of the man of God arose early and went out, there was an army surrounding the city with horses and chariots. And his servant said to him, Alas, my master, what shall we do? Move it. So he answered, Do not fear, for those who are with us are more than those who are with them. This was what Elisha told the servant. When the servant discovered that there were cohorts of soldiers around where they were living, he went to his boss and told him that they've come to attack us. And the man of God said, those who are with us are more than those who are with them. And Elisha prayed. The servant was worried. He said, what are you talking about? We are only two here and you are talking about those who are with us. So Elisha prayed and said, Lord, I pray, open his eyes that he may see then the Lord opened the eyes of the young man and he saw and behold the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire all around Elisha so when Elisha was whilst he was there spiritually he was surrounded with horses and chariots but it took a second eye to see it so he saw in the realm and said this is what is around us and the, and the young prophet was like what are you talking about and the senior prophet prayed and said God open his eyes which means that senior prophets can pray for younger prophets' eyes to be opened. So there's no gimmick. God can use us to open your eyes. And that's why we have come today. Some hundred people will catch something today. Hallelujah. Let's welcome our audience. You're watching Rima TV. This is prophetic encounter with the Father. And the, the concept is we trust in God that by the time I'm done, some hundred people amongst us, according to the word of the Lord, will catch some prophetic anointing. So in the comfort of your homes, you can even believe and connect. And all things are possible to them that believe. You just have to believe. You just have to believe. And anything is possible. Can I share the word? All right. Now, let's quickly look at this. Um, the seven kinds of prophets we have in this world. From biblical perspectives, the seven kinds of prophets we have. Number one is in Jeremiah 1 5 to 10. Jeremiah chapter 1 5 to 10. Now God said to Jeremiah, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I sanctified you. I ordained you a prophet to the nations. So before you were born, I had ordained you in the womb. So the first kind of prophet we have is the born prophets. Prophets who are born to be prophets. Some people are born to be prophets. Born prophets. Born prophets. And some of you are born prophets. Yeah, some of you are born prophets. Number two, those who are called to be prophets. Amos 7, 14 and 15. Amos 7, 14 and 15. Then Amos answered and said to Amaziah, I was no prophet, nor was I a son of a prophet, but I was a sheep bearer, sheep breeder, and a tender of sycamore fruit. That meant that he said he was a farmer. Then the Lord took me as I followed the flock, and the Lord said to me, Go prophesy to my people Israel, which means that he was not a son of a prophet, he had never been to a prophetic college, but he was called by God to be a prophet, so apart from the born prophet, we have the called to be prophets and so if you weren't even born a prophet, I won't be surprised that today some of you will receive some call and if you are called already, stay in your calling number three then we have those who are made prophets those who are made prophets. Amos 7, 14 and 15. Made prophets. 
Amos 7, 14 and 15. Amos answered and said to Amaziah, I was no prophet, nor was I a son of a prophet. Say, a son of a prophet. You see, so he distinguished the two kinds of prophets. He said, I was no prophet. Which means I wasn't born a prophet, nor was I a son of a prophet. The sons of the prophets were the prophets who were in the prophetic college, who schooled to become. They were trained to become prophets. And this falls within this third category where you are made, trained, like a prophet, trained to be a prophet. Am I communicating? And, and as, as you are here, some of you, this training will bring you into being prophetic. And some of you in the prophetic college, you'll be trained by God through the man of God to become prophets. So there are made prophets, those who are trained to be prophets. Hallelujah. Um, in the book of 2 Kings 2, 1 to 14, because of time, when you go, you can have time to read it. In, in Kegel, Bethel, Jericho, Jordan, in all these four major cities, uh, they had prophetic colleges where students were in the prophetic college studying theology and studying how to become prophets. They were trained to be made prophets. So when Elijah and Elisha were traveling, they went, they visited all these four points. They went to Gilgal, they went to Bethel, they went to Jericho, they went to Jordan, although all these had its own significance in, 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 in the prophetic um, movement. But then all these cities have prophetic colleges that were raised to train prophetic people. So people are trained to be made prophets. Am I communicating? Number four. Then we have those who become prophets through impartation. I'll come there. So that will be the last point. That let's move to number four. Those who desired earnestly for the prophetic until they got it. 1 Corinthians 14, 1. 1 Corinthians 14, 1. Pursue love and desire spiritual gifts but especially that you may prophesy. You can desire to prophesy and God can visit you and give it to you. When you see somebody moving in the prophetic and the person is spot on and clean and has the oil and has the word and he stands and his prophetic is being a blessing to many, you can desire to prophesy and God can favor you with it. Anybody here desiring for some oil to prophesy? God can touch you with it. Can I hear a big amen? Hallelujah. And then number five, those who were not desiring for it. And it was just a gift given to them. Even when they were not desiring for it, they just stumbled into it. There are people like that too. There are people like that. Ephesians 4, 11 um, and 12. It's a gift. It is just, he just logoed it on them. Just who anymore see, take the gift. Even when you don't desire, it just gives to you. Some people are just found and God just look. Amen. Ephesians 4, 11. And he gave some to be apostles, some to be prophets. These were gifts. He gave to some, just apostles, prophets, just give to them. So God can just by his own grace and mercy look for somebody and just release it on the person. It's possible. Can I hear an amen? amen? And then we have the number six, those who prophesy as the occasion serves them. Those who prophesy as the occasion serves them. Numbers 11.25. Numbers 11.25. Numbers 11 25. Then the Lord came down in the cloud and spoke to him and took of the spirit that was upon him and placed the same upon the 70 elders. And it happened when the spirit rested upon them that they prophesied, though they never did so again. That, that there are some people in the euphoria or in the in that in that oil and unction of prophet, they can prophesy, and after that it halts. They prophesy as the occasion served them, like in the case of Saul. Saul was caught up. In the midst of the sons of the prophets. And the Bible said he prophesied alongside with them. And just after that the prophecy halted. There are people like that. Hallelujah. Now. So within all these categories. I can see that. Either of us would definitely fall in one of these. And I'm praying that whether you are in number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Five. Six. Or the seven who I'm going to talk about. You will certainly contact a prophetic anointing. Before you leave here. Can I hear a big amen. The last one on the list. Is the one we are going to do today and that is those who contact the prophetic by impartation those who contact the prophetic by impartation those who contact the prophetic by impartation lift your right and repeat this after me say I receive an impartation, receive an impartation. To, prophesy. to prophesy say it again say I receive an impartation, receive an impartation. to prophesy 
Hallelujah. The word impartation is the ability to give unto others that what God has given to you. Either sovereignty, or either through the sovereign act of God or through other anointed vessels. Let me come again. It is the ability to give unto others that what God has given to somebody. Either through the sovereign act of God or through anointed vessels that is anointed man of God imparting on the people. The Greek word for the word impartation is the word metadidomi. 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 Meaning to give over, to give a share of. So what I have, I can give a share of it. That is impartation. Can I hear an amen? It also means to share in association with anyone. It also means to communicate information or to bestow something. So all the informations I've had for the past 31 years in working in the prophetic ministry, I will lay hands on you and then it is all transmitted into one person within some seconds. That's, that's, that's impartation. Including all the hands on me. I, I get what I'm saying. The one who ordained me. So all these hands are on me. And when I touch you, you have connections with all these hands. <laughs> are you ready for an impartation? Come on, club and say I receive it by fire. Other words we can use to bring a clearer meaning means to transmit to pass on to confer and to transfer today God through me will transmit will pass on I said I will pass on something I will confer and transfer something to somebody There are two main ways by which impartation happens to people. The first one is from God himself. God himself can impart. Take of me and release it on people. Like in Numbers 11, 16 and 17. So the Lord said to Moses, Gather to me 70 men of the elders of Israel, whom you know to be the elders of the people and officers over them. Bring them to the tabernacle of meeting that they may stand there with you then I will come down and talk with you there I will take of the spirit capital S so it's not Moses spirit but the spirit of God that is upon you and will put the same upon them I will take the spirit on you and put God said himself it's not Brookman who lay hands but God himself will take the spirit from of Moses and lay it on the 70 elders and they shall bear the burden of the people with you that you may not bear it yourself alone so there is a level of impartation where God himself steps out of the, the stage and then he takes what is on the man and puts it on people I know I'm going to be laying hands on people that's the second dimension but I'll be surprised God himself will take something from off me and put it on certain people and it's possible any seventy elder here? Let's clap for Jesus. And the verse twenty-four to twenty-nine, the same numbers eleven. So Moses went out and told the people the words of the Lord, and he gathered the seventy men of the elders of the people and placed them around the tabernacle then the Lord came down in the cloud and spoke to them and took the spirit that was upon Moses and placed the same upon the 70 elders and it happened the spirit that was on Moses he placed the same so some of you can receive the same I don't know what you've seen on this man's life but the same the names the telephone numbers the healing the deliverance the singing the preaching the teaching the same combined I've told you when I pray in tongues you must receive the same another brookman will imagine Kumasi after this conference another brookman will imagine Obuasi after this conference 
and that brookma will emerge in that area where you came from say the same say say the same same the same oh kapaha neko pakasata grito shite the Lord said that was even the Old Testament. In the New Testament, you can even receive double. Hmm. Somebody clap and shout, Amen. Amen. Then, impartation by anointed men or women laying their hands on God's people. And that's what we're going to be doing today. When anointed men lay their hands on you, five things could happen to you. Let me share those five things quickly. The first thing that can happen when we lay our hands, anointed people lay their hands, is that when we lay our hands on God's people, we release blessings on them. See, that's why if you submit to somebody as a spiritual leader and you give him money, don't think that your money is too big. Because what his hands does for you is more than that money you brought. Because it's very easy for sons sometimes to feel that, oh, I've been able to give 400 Ghana, so at least I'm a good son. What the hand of the man does for you far outweighs that little money you give to support his assignment and to connect with what you have. Am I communicating? So when the man of God lays his hands on you, Genesis 28, 1 to 4. Genesis 28, 1 to 4. Then Isaac called Jacob and blessed him and charged him and said to him, you shall not take a wife. Okay, let's even leave that one. That one is even popular. We all know that one. Come with me to Genesis 48, 14 to 20. Genesis 48, 14 to 20. Then Israel stretched out his hand, say his hand, and laid it on Ephraim's head, who was the younger, and his left hand on Manasseh's head, guiding his hands knowingly, for Manasseh was the firstborn and he blessed Joseph and said God before whom my father Abraham and Isaac walked the God who has fed me all my life long to this day the angel who has redeemed me from all evil bless the lads let my name be named upon them and the name of my father Abraham and Isaac and let them grow into a multitude in the midst of the earth now when Joseph saw that his father laid his hand his right hand on the head of Ephraim, he it displeased him, so he took hold of his father's hand to remove it from Ephraim's head to Manasseh's head. And Joseph said to his father, Not so, my father, for this one is the firstborn. Put your right hand on his head. But his father refused and said, I know my son, I know exactly what I'm doing. Though my eyes are dim, but I know exactly what I'm doing. You know, Joseph brought his two sons on hearing that the father was sick to the point of then he quickly wanted his two sons, Ephraim and Manasseh, to have the blessing. So he brought them. Now, um, according to the Jewish custom, when a father is laying hands on two sons, the eldest must be at the right side so that by the right hand, the right hand is the strength. He released the blessing. So they brought Manasseh, the firstborn, to his right hand. So normally he was supposed to have placed the right hand on Manasseh, but he crossed his hand. I taught you here that in the Old Testament, that was the type of the cross. When he did this, you can see the cross. So he was saying that under the cross, destinies could be shifted. You know, you're not saying, are you clapping for Jesus here? But that's a revelation. Apart from that, he laid hands on them and blessed them and said that the two of you, I bless you and I adopt you like my two sons, Simeon and Reuben. And said, though you are grandsons, but I make you sons. Which means that an anointed man's hands can fast track a person's life from, from a grandson to becoming a son. Which means that what you can experience in 30 years, my hands can let you experience it in three months. That's why we lay hands on people. So when we lay hands on you, we release blessings on you. That's why you better be careful who lays hands on you. Because if hands could command blessings, then hands can bring curses. Imagine if the one laying hands on you is not anointed or is carrying some witchcraft something. Am, am I preaching? 
Don't just let people lay hands on you. Vet their spirit. Discern that they have the Holy Ghost in them. See the oil. Be convinced that the word is in them. Because hands can bring a blessing or bring a curse. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. So the first thing impartation through the hands of the anointed man does is that it brings a blessing and the blessing becomes so potent so strong that it has the ability to raise you from the mary clay and establish you on the rock to stay hallelujah Amen. see so that you hear some people speaking on radio against pastors and all these pastors and they are doing this and they are taking this from members although it's true some people have carried it to the extreme but apart from that, there are things that we do for members. I'm telling that your money cannot do for us. An anointed man can lay hands on all of a sudden a vision you've incubated on for years becomes clearer. Oh, you're not clapping. You're not clapping. Number two. One will lay hands on you, you can receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. I won't be surprised that some people will be filled with the Spirit of God today. Some will carry fresh oil, apart from the impartation of the prophetic. Some of you who don't speak in tongues will speak in tongues. And some of you who speak in tongues will, will receive refilling. Some of you are going to be sharp. Because I've prayed for hours in the Spirit and I know when I touch you, something could be transmitted. Can I hear a big Amen. So in Act 8, 14 to 19. Act 8, 14 to 19. Now when the apostles who were at Jerusalem heard that some Samaria had received the word of God, they sent Peter and John to them, who when they had come down, prayed for them that they might receive the Holy Spirit. For as yet he had fallen upon none of them. Then they had only been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then they laid hands on them and they received the Holy Spirit when Peter them were sent to Samaria and they began to lay hands on the people in Samaria. These Samaritans instantly began to speak in tongues because they were filled with the Spirit because hands were laid on them and through the transmission of the power of God through the hands, these people contacted the power of God. And I'm saying when we lay hands on you, the Holy Ghost through the medium of our hands can come upon you. Now watch this. If by the laying on of a man of God, an anointing of the Spirit of God through his hand could be imparted, then evil spirit could also be imparted through the laying on of hands if the person's hand is evil. That's why I don't just allow anybody to lay hand. Am I talking to people here? Number three. One will lay hands. People could receive grace to serve in the house of God. Amen. Act chapter 6, 1 to 7. Act 6, 1. Now in those days, when the number of the disciples was multiplying, there arose a complaint against the Hebrews by the Hellenists, because their widows were neglected in the daily distribution. Then the twelve summoned the multitude of the disciples and said, it is not desirable that we should leave the word of God and serve tables. Therefore, brethren, seek out from among you seven men of good reputation, full of the Holy Spirit and wisdom, whom you may appoint over this business. But we will give ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word. And the same pleased the multitude, and they chose Stephen, a man full of faith, and the Holy Spirit, and Philip, Prochorius, Nicanor, Timon, Paminas, and Nicholas, a proselyte from Antioch, whom they set before the apostles, and when they had prayed, they laid hands on them. When they finished praying, they laid hands on them. These were deacons that were appointed in the early church, and as soon as they were appointed, the Bible says that they fasted and prayed, and just after that, the leaders laid hands on them. Why? Because they were imparting on them the grace for service. So if you are a singer, in a church and you are doing well, don't be quick to think that, oh, I'm unique. It could probably be the hand of the man of God that was laid on you one day that has made you even stronger. That's why some people at a point think that they feel too good in their shoes in a certain church until they leave and then they become unpopular forever. They forget that it is an anointing that has been laid on them that is causing them to be strong in that area.
am I am I talking? There are times some instrumentalists will come to a certain church and they are playing and they are not anointed. Very skillful but not anointed. But they play around an anointing. Uh, then all of a sudden an anointing comes on them. And they play and they flow in the anointing and they think it's the anointing. No, no, no. Some hands in the spirit have come on you. Are, are you clapping for Jesus? Yeah? So hands are laid on people. And they are empowered to serve in certain capacities. You realize that this sister stands at the gate and there is this aura around her. Everybody wants to gravitate towards her as an usher. Why? Because hands have been laid on her and she's very unique in that area. If you're not careful, you'll think it's your legs. No, no, no. People don't come to her because of your legs. Am I talking here? Can, can I be real? It is something that has come on you because some hands have been laid on your life. Hallelujah. So hands are laid on people and when hands are laid on them power from heaven comes on them to empower them to save. Number four or number five? Number four. When we lay hands on people they receive an impartation for healing. I can lay hands on the sick and the sick will recover. So when anointed men lay hands on people if sicknesses are in their body the sicknesses can disappear. And we have seen a lot happening in this place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So Luke chapter 4 verse 40. Luke 4 40. When the sun was setting, all those who had any that were sick with various diseases brought them to him. And he laid his hands on every one of them and healed them. When Jesus laid his hands on every one of them, they were all healed. When hands are laid on the sick, the sick are healed. When hands are laid on the sick, because our hands are the extensions of the hands of God. So what would taught the sick, the sick must be healed. So Bible says in the book of Mark chapter 16 verse 17 and 18. And these signs will follow those who believe. In my name they will cast out demons. They will speak with new tongues. They will take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing. It will by no means help them. They will lay hands on the sick. And the sick will recover. When we lay our hands on the sick. The sick must certainly recover. I prophesy. That apart from the prophetic anointing. That is coming. You will cut the healing ministry on my life. That as you go out there, you will lay your hands on the sick and the sick shall recover. Cripples will walk in your meeting. The deaf will be healed. The dumb will speak. The blind will see. Dead bodies shall be raised in your meetings. Can you clap and shout a big amen? That's the power of laying on of hands. What number is that? Number four. Now let's come to the main point. Number five. That will be my last point. When we lay hands on you, spiritual gifts could be imparted. Don't anybody lie to you that, oh, you waste your time going to those meetings and they lay hands on you and blah, 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 blah. No, no, no. no. When we lay hands on you, impartation of gifts can come. So, First Timothy 4.14. First Timothy 4.14. Do not neglect the gift that is in you, which was given to you by the prophets by prophecy with the laying on of the hands of the eldership. So the eldership, the presbytery, the apostolic council can come together and lay hands on a person and gift will be transmitted. So Paul was writing to Timothy that Timothy, do not forget one thing by fanning to flame and stirring up the gifts that has been in you by the laying on of the hands of the presbytery would mean that when the presbytery laid hands on you, gifts were imparted. So when apostolic authorities like some of us lay hands on you, we can impart spiritual gifts. Amen. So this thing is real. As I lay hands on you today, gifts will be imparted your eyes could be open in the spirit the apostolic anointing on me can be released the healing anointing on me can be released the deliverance anointing on me can be released the preaching and teaching anointing on me can be released the singing anointing on me can be released to hear to see and to speak on me can 
You want to clap? Go ahead and clap, church. Hallelujah. Romans 1, 11 and 12. Paul said in his letter to the, um, the Romans church, the, the church of Rome, for I long to see you that I may impart Paul said, I, I, it's, it's a long game. For I long to see that I may impart to you some spiritual gifts so that you may be established. Which means that pastors who are not gifted are not established. That's why there is so much insecurity in the system. Many pastors are not established because they don't have spiritual gifts. So if they see another of their signs shining, they will do everything to just block them. But he said, I, I, I wish to come to you to impart on you spiritual gifts so that you'll be established. Hey, the reason why there is no too much established ministries these days is because gifts are no more in the system. But today, you didn't just come for a prophetic anointing. You came for establishment. Oh, you are not clapping at all. Go to verse 12. Go to verse 12. That is, that I may, en I may be encouraged together with you by the mutual faith, both of you and both of you and me. Now, when, when, when pastors carry gifts, when we meet, we encourage one another. You see, so, that, so that, watch this, so that the thing will not just be like some two, three, thirty people in Ghana who are super saints and super gifted now that thing has become like acting now we have a few actors who are acting and even amongst the actors we have 80 percent of us who are comedians yeah. but we want to get to a point where we can carry encourage ourselves and that's why this meeting is organized Let's clap and give the Lord a shout. Obia is qualified to carry the oil. Ojia Yarefo. Na Ojia Hiafo. Yes, you dear. I don't know who gave you this wrong perception about you that you aren't qualified. It's a lie. Ojia Yarefo. Now, oh, she ain't here for yes, you dear. Oh, Sebo, it's a couple of you can hold. Oh, you'll be Biara. Lift your hands up, yes, you dear. And son, on Ipa, can you stand up there? Yeah, oh, crutch your sivo. Let me see your hands up. Come on, everybody. Now, son, on me, pa. Bear, yeah. Oh, cry, just evil. Yeah, bear, sumo. And son, on me, pa. Bear, yeah. Peja won't suck us, you Oh, Christ, yes, if oh, yeah, but soon, oh, as impartation is about to take place, you've heard about five things impartation does the blessings, healing, the prophetic, whatever you want to pray, which one you want. And I'm telling you, your father is a good father, he's here to release through his servant. For you to get a miracle. Can you lift your hands up? 
Say in the name of Jesus. I tap into the prophetic anointing. And I receive an impartation. Come on, lift your voice. Begin to talk to your God. Oh, la kapasha. Oh, one son on the yeah. Come on, let me hear your voice. Up cry, just evil. Your best soon And son, no neighbor. Come on, talk to your girl. Oh, crotch, yes, evil. You're best soon. Oh, and son, no neighbor. Kappa, kappa, kappa. We release the anointing in the atmosphere. Come on, somebody. Your best soon. And son, shuri mini ane malama mane, akrati azivo, shatala baba yame. Oh, and son, oh, shuri mini ane masanta la baba yane, akrati azivo. Alle, 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 Oh, yeah. Come on, tap into the oil. Tap into the prophetic anointing. Come on. Let's sing. Halle, halle, hallelujah. Shula, mala, mala, mama, mala, mama, yandeshu. Hallelujah. We sing hallelujah. Kapata kapako soto lo bobo ya basa. Ah, mandelelele beka sata. Come on, lift your voice and bless the name of Jesus. Shuri mini ano yede da. Hale 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 hale. Mama, 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 ya bo shata. Banda la 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 ba ya bo kosha. Continue to pray. Continue to pray. Tap into the river of the spirit. I see a surge of power in here this morning. Hallelujah. Shatala ba 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 Lift your hands up for me.
it is coming lift your hands I saw the spirit just landed Ketopa you cannot tap into it <laughs> Holy Spirit satisfy our hungry souls and feed us Lord with the bread of heaven Katapa. Free a boy go see Atoye SS Yesu Dini Messi free a boy go see Atoye SS Yes, you did. Free a boy. Cosi a toy. As I said, Yes, you did. It's a moment and two new year, Raja. Yeah. Oh, yeah, me say. I I see the spirit of the prophets here. I see Oh, Nyameba, Eriabriyeyiwayoda. I feel it here. Nyawoye, Mameda, Yenanchi, Pachi. Nyawoye, Mameda. Yenancio Pachi Iti o nyami buafwe Ewi abriye yi wayada Lift your hands and receive more of him Miyawo Kadabadebo satali bayeri Missy Pachi Adum na metiasi Emu na meke kami ho Enu na Meye Among the gods Who is like thee you are glorious in holiness and fearful in praise. Doing wonders. The prophetic train just entered. Join it. Join it. Join it. <laughs> Get ready. It's happening. Ushers. Uh, <laughs> uh, impartation. Impartation of gifts. Katomi Ali Suti Kipakatali Hai. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Go ahead, just go ahead. But Delhi Zikabahasa, ta 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 ya ba.
Hallelujah. 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 Lift your hands. Blessed are they that hunger and test for righteousness, for they shall be filled. Let's take this song together. Lift your hands up. Holy Spirit, move me now. Make my life whole again. Come on, let me hear you. Your hands up. Spirit, move. Spirit, move. Hallelujah. Let's sing Holy Spirit. Move me now. Spirit, move over me. Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Put your hand on your tummy. Your two hands. And within the next two minutes, you are going to pray in tongues. Just like this, pray in the spirit. And as you're praying, just see yourself connecting with the oil of my life. Come on, just go higher. Come on, just go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Come on, pray in the spirit out of your belly. Let it flow. Rivers. Catch something, catch something, catch something. Go ahead and pray in the spirit as the organ and the lead plays. Yeah. <laughs> Pray until the point where you begin to laugh in the spirit. That is the breaking point. Yeah. Breakthrough. Breakthrough. As Zion travels, Zion will deliver her baby. Akopo. Yeah. You are pregnant with the prophetic mandate. Come on. Bet it. Netoli Aziki Pakata Blinko Haya. Yeah. Those of you in the house, just pray in the Holy Ghost and connect. Mataka. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Ilele, 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 Santa. Oh, oh. Oh, come on, pray in the spirit. Something is shifting in the atmosphere. Ah, yeah. In the company of prophet, just catch it. Katakapaha.
out of your belly out of your belly let it flow rivers come on now somebody yeah yeah <laughs> Woo! in the name of jesus hallelujah lift your two hands at me lift your two hands up let's take this song together Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everybody come on now. Hallelujah. Sing now. Hallelujah. Let's sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's sing Hallelujah. Follow me, everybody. Come on now. Everybody, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sing Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Lift your hands and sing Holy Spirit. Everybody come on Holy Spirit Holy Spirit It's all about you Holy Hallelujah Okay let's clap for Jesus please No 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 you're not clapping at all And give the Lord a big shout. Let me see if you are here. I saw two angels appeared here. And they gave me two names. The first one is the one I mentioned. What did I say? And then Emmanuel. Emmanuel. I saw Emmanuel. I saw Emmanuel. He fought. Emmanuel. He fought. So if you like, like to run to me quickly. 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 Is that your name? That's your name. Let's clap for Jesus, please. <laughs> Lift your hands up for me. This your hunger will be satisfied. Are you lifting your hands up, all of you? And close your eyes. We'll release that grace. We'll release that grace. Oh. Bring him again. I lay my hands, Father, on your servant. And I release the gifts of the spirit on him. Bring him back again. He will never miss out on his assignment. He will fulfill his mandate. Touch. Bring him for the last time. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray that ministry will be easy for you. Touch. Somebody clap and celebrate God. Are you clapping for Jesus? Zande boko shatala bahasa, gleto paka shatala baya. As you are clapping, may you receive your own prophetic divine direction. Akushika, akushika, akushika. Oh, come on now, put those hands together. Can you clap for Jesus? Come here. 
We are in a prophetic atmosphere. But I saw an angel enter with a wedding ring and put it on your finger. Amen. Oh, what is this? So get ready. I hear, get ready. Lift your hands up. Get ready. Has anybody come? Eh? Is he serious? Um, yes, please. Here in Accra? No. Koforidia. Koforidia. Yes, please. Koforidia. Yes. Lift your hands up. Look into my eyes. It is done. Hush! Yes! You see? Mama. She's your daughter. Eh? She's your daughter. Have you received a text message? Check your phone. <clears throat> Professor. Is your phone off? Huh? Check it. Have you received a text message? Huh? Have you received a text message? Yes, Daddy. Sylvia, pray hard. Yes, Daddy. Because there's too much lobbying. Read it. What do you have there? There's too much lobbying on the contract. Something leg on. Yes, Daddy. What is it? Hello. Is this Sylvia? Your documents are before us, but the lobbying is too much. I managed to get your number to tell you to pray hard. Legon Canteen. Hush! Yes! Hush! 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 Is she your daughter? And I called her, ministering to her. You came to show and to read. And then God opened my eyes. Can you check the time she received the message? Twelve forty-four. Twelve forty-four. Yes. Yes. Professor, an angel is bringing your message to you right now. Amen. Lift your hands up now. I release grace. Touch. Man in the house. Nothing can intercept with it. Come here. Come here. Are you expecting a contract from Legon? Yes, daddy. You are expecting. Yes, daddy. You've not heard from them. No. Father, I pray. The door is open. Touch. Yes. We, we are here for prophetic impartation. But people are taking contract and marriage. Amen. Which means that anything is possible in this atmosphere. Can you clap and receive your own miracle? Malahasata Kappa. Gedoboko. Mommy, come here. And come. Hold your daughter's hands. The same angel that visited her has visited you. Molo Grashigra Binto Litata. Anybody with the name Williams. William. 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 Willie. William. William. Run to me. Williams. 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 Williams, Williams, quickly, Williams. Makapasha, Itakiko kasha tata, Imbrakito liza tika parate, Inkata ta shata you marry manenda ho, Lingra de da da da. Every juju done. I don't know who sent the message, but in the name of Jesus, I pray the doors are open. Touch manenda ho. Is that come with us for Jesus? Williams, come close here. Lift your hands up for me. Marco Pa. Who's at Tembila? Ah, I prayed for you. When was that? On Tuesday, and I said you're going to be a pastor. Yes. What did I say about you? You say I'm going to be a pastor, but I should go and fast uh, three days. Did now, I mention your name that day? Yeah, yeah. You, you didn't mention. You I didn't mention your name. Me, yeah. I didn't mention this one to you. No. You just walk to me. That I day. walked to you and I picked you and I prayed for you. And yeah. now the name is clearer. Did yes. you do the first? Yes. What did you say you were staying? I'm staying at Ashaman. Ashaman. That is a Jekujo. Put your two hands on your heads, all of you. Oh, Blantaka. Ilaka Baba. Shakula Bayadushta. 
embrate ste karate shata ah uh, mama mama bella come here come come did she come ah huh? she's gone jesus christ call her for call her right now quick be very very fast call her Holy Spirit, let your presence come on these my sons. Yes, they are all William. Ah, huh? receive it now. <laughs> Stand behind them. Impartation. <laughs> I release the gift. Touch. I release the gift. My oh my. Mamo mo shatala higher. I see angels working. Angels are just working. Angels are, put your hands down. Put your hands down. I bless you. I bless you. I bless you. And I bless you. It is done in Jesus' mighty name. Stand behind him. It's done. That's all. You can sit down. Um, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Prophets and prophetesses. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Anybody called Becky? Becky. Professor. Oh, go ahead and clap. Found some in a good tree, so many. Becky, look into my face. You are a nurse, I know. But God is giving you a prophetic anointing. And I remember, hold on. I prophesied on you the other time. I prophesied on you the other time that God will help you to do medicine in the future. What a joy to be doing medicine and then you have the prophetic instincts. Am, am I communicating? And that is the grace that has come upon it. Can we clap and shout amen? Anybody doing medicine here? Come, and who else? Run to me. Come, come, come. Come here. Stand here for me. And lift your two hands up. It's going to be wonderful practicing and then you are prophetic. And then you assess the things per your training and then the prophetic. That gives you an advantage. Say wow. Malahasha. Lekobo. Look into my eyes. I give you fresh anointing. Amen. You are blessed. Sit down. Osakano, Fatu Loud Speaker, Mami. Uh, Mami Bella, we are in the auditorium. Where are you? Okay, where is your husband? Okay, I want you to call him and pray with him right now because there is an attack on his heart right now. The enemy has thrown an arrow and it is coming towards him. It will get him in the next four minutes. So you have to pray for him. But listen, you don't have credit. So in the spirit, an angel has sent you a credit. Are you listening? Are you listening? So check, you will see that you have credit of 20 cities. So take it and call your husband and call me right now. You did what I said? All right, so do it right now and call me. Quickly. Yeah! Because where she is, she cannot have credit right now. So. Papa! I thought you would clap and shout.
I thank God she's not here so that it will be clear. Now, are you clapping for Jesus? Well, some minutes later, ask her if she saw the credit. All right? Because an angel just sent her credit so she, she could stop whatever she is and call the husband right now because within four minutes, they will attack the husband's heart. Now, stretch your hand towards your family. Wherever you came from, your hometown, your village, wherever. Yeah, if you're not sure, lift your hands to heaven. Say fire three times. Fire, fire, fire. Say every arrow of premature death. Every arrow of premature death. Release against me and my family. Release against me and my family. Say I destroy in the name of Jesus. I destroy in the name of Jesus. As I clap and I pray. As I clap and I pray. Arise, O Lord. Arise, O Lord. Let every enemy scatter. Let every enemy scatter. Can you clap and open fire? Anybody called James, 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 James Lenyon. James. Anybody like that? Run to me. Who is Prophet that? Sir. The thing is leading me. Are you the one? That's your name. Come here. Oh, are you clapping for Jesus? Hush. Professor. Yeah. Why yeah. Why yeah. Lift your hands and let's watch him. Come on now. James, where do you come from? Region. Volta region. Where do you live? I'm right now in Legon. You are in Legon? Yes, please. Are you into ministry? Yes, please. Eh? Yes, please. Look at me. The Lord spoke to me that that desire you have to catch this, you have it. Take it! Yes! Oh, Hush. somebody clap here. Yes! The Lord will use you mightily for his glory. What cause do you do? What cause? I did nursing. Sorry? I did nursing. You did nursing? Yes, please. You are blessed. Sit down. Church, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Hush. So walk in this anointing, okay? Who is Menu? Menu. 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 Professor. Menu, 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 menu. That's your name? And that's your name. Come, the two of you. Oh, you are not clapping. Hush! Where do you come from? From Volta. But I'm Volta. in Mankesim. Eh? I'm in Mankesim. You are in Mankesim. That's where you came from. Yes, and then opening you? Accra. You are in a cry here. But where do you come from? Kumasi. Kumasi. Yeah. Lift your hands up. The Lord is releasing the anointing on me on the two of you. But there's one of you who needs some serious financial door. So apart from the anointing, that door is also opened. Hush. 
So lift your hands and receive that prophetic anointing. Father, touch your sons and release that oil. Oh, oh, I release it. I release it. I release it. Where is JK? That's you. You are JK. Are you clapping? Yes. Professor. This is what you are going to do after today. Yes. No, 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 no. You are not clapping at all. I can't be a word day. Wait, wait, so for. Huh? Wait, what are you sorry? ICGC. ICGC. Yeah. What do you do then? I'm a prayer warrior. The like prayer warrior. But you love my ministry. <laughs> of course. And you decided to come. Yes. Every debt is cancelled. Amen. I lay hands and I release grace and favor on you. It is done. Can we clap for the Lord? Yes. Every debt is cancelled. Right, so lift your hands and let's begin. Cosi se ye be free her. Bring that man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, see, we are see her. Everybody swing it unto the Lord. I impart. Take the anointing. Bring him again. Out of your belly shall flow. Man in the heart. Everybody come on sing now. Ye be free heart. Now lift your hands up. Within the next one minute, you are praying for the impartation. And whatever you want God to do for you, just talk to him. He's willing to do it. Just pray. Come on, just pray. Pray. Oh, Ale. We are see her. Come on, talk to God. Shuri Miniano, yeah. Cause he said. Ye be free ha Bala ba ya busha We are seeing Lift your hands and just pray for more of God Sha la 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 ba ya mo ye 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 Hallelujah ko si se Ye be free ha Afi fa on sami no go chest my man Amen Say Jesus As I lay my hands on my chest I receive fresh impartation May the heavens be open on my life and let the glory descend on me I thank you Father for this impartation in Jesus name can you clap and shout ushers get ready if got anything is possible in this atmosphere lift your hands up magi boko sha da 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 ah Whoa! Stand behind her. Oh. At the count of seven, it's coming. It's coming to heal, to pray, to teach, to prophesy. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I give you praise, Holy Ghost. To the back. Fresh oil, fresh fire. Fresh oil, fresh fire. 
you are stepping out of here to go and be a sign and a wonder ah miracle workers kanabahaya let the heavens be open and i see glory coming on your head one two three four five six seven come on take it thank you now carry your two hands on your head that'll be my last thing Carry your two hands on your heads. Those of you watching me via Rimati, put your hands on your heads in your homes. I release power to come on your heads. Right now. And I pray that the anointing working on people here will come even to your home. I may not be in the house to touch you, but the hands of God are not short. He's touching you in the house. When the prophetic convocation was happening in the days of Moses, one day, I mentioned on him, come on, the 70 elders, some two guys in the house, elder than Midad, they were not part of the convocation, yet the anointed penetrated through the walls and taught them in their homes. So in the house, may you also receive power. May you receive an impartation of gifts. May you receive a prophetic anointing right now in the name of Jesus. I pray that you will carry glory to your various homes. Take it! Bless your lives. In Jesus' name. It is done. Amen. Clap and take your seats. Four things you must know after this impartation. Number one, you must be fearless. When you receive a name, don't be scared to mention it. If you mention the first time and it doesn't work, keep mentioning until, until it works. God, God will prepare your hands for war. Preparation. So don't be scared to step out and declare thou. So be fearless. Say, I will be fearless. Again, shout it louder. Say, I will be fearless. You must be fearless. You should step out in faith. Am I talking to you? Number two. The anointing on you does not mean you are stupid. You should have common sense. So if I'm getting close to this sister and all of a sudden I don't have stomach ache but as soon as I go closer I felt some stomach ache. Sharp pains. It could be that God is telling me to ask her do you have stomach ache? If he says yes Afa. If God gives you a name like Rose and then 30 minutes time he adds Akolache. The two were not put together. So common sense will tell you that don't mention Rose Akolache straight. You say who is Rose? All the Rose will stand up. Who is Akolache? And then you watch them. Whilst you are watching one of them who said is Rose may probably lift his head and say, say you are the one come here. You get to a level where you'll be very mature and so clear you are so sure of what you're saying. But as you are beginning, make sure that you use your head as well. I thought you clap for Jesus. But when say that, say, oh, say, Kadabahaya. Number three, you must steady anointed people and how they operate. I want to give you the raw presentation. Like somebody here called Ama, but how you even handle it. The song you add, that one, it is you who must architect. You should be the architect to put flavor in it to make the thing unique. You can go raw. Hey, you stand up. You are rose. God bless you. Hey, you stand up. You are married. God bless you. But it will be boring. So add some flavor, some spices. That's one. You must be able to package it and make it so presentable that people will not see you as a boring prophet. Hey. 
Some of them will run and overtake chariots, not because they can overtake them by being whisked in the spirit, but they had to add some things to it to make it presentable. I can imagine when he was baptizing Ahab, he was saying, you see, you see and all those add some things to it. Number four, there are things we can't explain. You have to experience it. You should experience it. I can't explain. When it comes, you do it. There's no explanation. Mama Julie, where were you? At 37. At a wedding. And God showed me in the spirit that there was an attack coming to your husband. And at that time, you needed credit so that you could quickly. So an angel said, Did you see the credit? How much was it? How much was the credit? 20 Ghana. Metro. Hush. Can I prophesy? Professor. Number five, it's not all the time you hear, you can see, you can feel, you can design. I came to a level where I began to see when I graduated in it. Now, it is sitting on people's head like computers and I'm seeing it. But before I got to that level, sometimes I'll come close to this girl and I'll feel that there's a problem in your stomach. Stand up for me, put your hand there. Then I will break the case and say that every case is broken right now. Loose your grip. Break. Do you understand? That is feeling. But there's a time where that you won't feel it. But all of a sudden you will hear. And there's the two ways of hearing. You can hear it audibly or sometimes you can hear it in your spirit. While it is in your spirit, there's this peaceful thing here about what you are hearing. That is God. Are you learning? Did you, did you go to court last week? You went to court last week. I'm standing in the court. What happened? They just called the case. The guy went to study in the bus. There. They said, you should come next. Listen month. to me. I went to the court right now. God said the case is foolish case. Hush! Metro! Whatever. Mon Kombra, Mon Kombra, sir. Metro! Oh. And on a man, Tio, may Ben on a man in China, and I feel ye. Oh, feel papa. Feel professor. Why, yet the cry? Yes, professor. You see, number six. I just finished with number five. Number six. Pray more in the spirit. Pray more in the Holy Ghost. Pray more. Pray more in the spirit. The oil catches attention of people. When Jesus went to, to the wilderness to pray for 40 days, when he came back to the synagogue and the books of the scroll were handed over to him in the book of Luke chapter 4, verse 16, that was, when he opened the book of Isaiah and prayed and read and said, this day the scriptures is fulfilled in your eyes. And then he said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me, blah, blah, blah. When he finished and closed the book, the Bible says, and all eyes were fastened on him. There's something that makes people give you attention. It is the oil. And it comes by you pray more in the Holy Ghost. Say oil. oil. Say oil. oil. Again, say, say oil. oil. Yes, you need the oil. Pray more in the Holy Ghost. Pray more in the Holy Ghost. Can I hear a big amen? amen. And then the last point. Don't prophesy with your eyes closed. Open your eyes. There are things God will show you whilst your eyes are open that you won't see when your eyes are closed. There are times that I'm going, uh, God will say, stop. You see the one at your left, count four. That person has a problem. Deal with it. Imagine if I close my eyes. Open your eyes because God can tell you things and show you things you won't see when your eyes are closed. So open your eyes. You think what I said? You have to open your eyes. Imagine as I was passing. Imagine if I had not seen this. 
if my eyes were closed, I wouldn't have seen this that happened. Am I talking? Yes. Yeah, stand up. Stand, 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 stand. Where's your fiance? He's in the house. He's in the house. Yes. Okope kole hands on his own. When him, Obi, if you are car, what was that? Um, last week. Last week, Obi, if you are car, nesaka car no. You have seen it, but you have the car now. Koye dro. You have to juggle car nesu. When he found the car, uh-huh. the, the, the next three days, and then his brother died. His when he found brother, the car, the next three days, the brother died. Yeah, his junior brother. They are planning to kill him too in four days. Have you told me this? No. Hey. Professor. Hey. Professor. Amrabesh told the car, they went and did some juju against him, but by prayer, he stepped out. And I'm seeing that. Now they want to get him. But because of the anointing in this house. Yes. And because it is the will of God that he marries you, he won't die. Amen. Yes. Power. Yes. You did it, yes. Yes. Okay, found that right. Fatunesu. Professor. Metro. Give me my face towel. I'm about to finish. Give me the white one. This is a mantle. There's another side to the prophetic. What is on me can come on this and I can give it to you and you take it. Del, come here. You see? When your father died. There was a ritual that went on. And they made you carry something. What was that? But you carried something. For five days. For five days. And you were walking on the streets. And without slippers. Without slippers. That thing you did. And you were a bit naked. Yes. That thing you did. The idols and the gods in the village saw you. And some loved you and married you. And that's why men are coming. But they are disappointing you every now and then. But as you said that God told me. Watch, I watched and I saw that. That spiritual marriage is broken now. Break. Oh! Hey! You are not clapping at all. No, no, no. You are not clapping. This is her wedding gone. Professor, sit down. Do, do, are you watching me? This is how I present it. What I just said, I saw it 10 minutes ago. But I had to take time and package it well. And present it whilst I was talking about my mantle. So that I can use my mantle to connect and release it on air. Hush! Prophesy, Papa! I think I have to finish. Prophesy. Um, It should be like the electricity all over him. Leave it. Take the oil. Power. Mira disayeyi. Believe a prophet is here. Yes. I settle this controversy, man. In the hall. Break. 